um, Mr. Luex, I'll call me trainer Luex. Like I've said, I've, I'll, I'll be taking you through the seven core units of electrical installation qualification, which carries from level four to level six. But for this unit, which is the first unit of uh, in the order of core units, plan electrical installation work is only based for level five and level six. So if you're level four, just wait until we go to the second unit, which will be perform electrical installation. So in this unit, plan electrical installation work. It has nine elements. The elements we refer to them as topics. So the first element is conduct site survey. So why do we conduct site survey? I'll be taking you through all that about the site survey. So stay tuned. Let's start. What is a site survey? As the name states, it's just a visual check to assess the, 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 the facility, the site or appliance for electrical suitability. You're looking for which kind of installation should fit the given site. So why do we carry a site survey? Why is it important? Why is it necessary? One, it serves as reference. Whenever there's conflict with the client, maybe you agreed on A, B, C, D, but uh, the outcome is not based on what you agreed. So you can still refer to the report. It also uh, helps to gather information about the site, understanding the site, identifies the location and the route of installation. If you're on site, actually here we're referring to being on a physical site. If you are to install a system, let's say you're installing a, an instant shower, it's good to, to see the bathroom, to see uh, where will you place the, uh, the the shower itself where will the shower switch be and all that where will the shower get the power from so that's the reason why also it helps in, in quoting exactly what's going to be installed it also helps to avoid surprises yes assuming you're going to install but where you're going to install is already an existing uh, installation so you're going to add so in order to to, uh, to avoid such surprises like uh, maybe poor a poor quotation or poor, poor, poor rating of the protect devices all that this one can help you do it in early it also helps to evaluate the site conditions we understand that uh, sites have different conditions and when you say conditions it ranges from measurements uh, the ambient temperature all that the nature of the site and all that the, the visibility and all that so assuming for example you are supposed to work on a on outside maybe you're working outside on a higher end you'll be prepared psychologically that you need a ladder when you're preparing for such so how can one carry out a site survey so these are just simple steps on what you need to do first you need to prepare you need to prepare the tools prepare the stationery where you're going to write summary you need also safety gear assuming that uh, maybe on site the construction is still ongoing you need to safety gear you need the second step is now visiting the physical site being there in person the first person to meet while you're there is meet the client the client can be the contractor can be the, the owner can be uh, can be whoever is there it can be a subcontractor that maybe you fall under so meet with the person first while you're meeting the person try to understand the expectation the wants of this system we are going to install also the next thing is now to get the overview of electrical installation setup here we usually ask if it's a contractor and maybe there's already existing installation uh, work plans and drawings you can ask for that so that you can understand uh, what's good what's, what's the installation going to entail then you can also go around the building if it's a building go around the perimeter if it's just assuming you want to install an electric fence so that you can understand exactly where you're going to deploy your installation uh, uh, components let me say that you also need while you're on site try to meet other third parties third parties these are other people who are also working on site but remember as an as an, an electrical field you depend on uh, the building uh, engineer the masonries and all those those people who are doing the job so assuming you, you you are to be doing maybe uh, fixing of conduits laying of conduits i mean you need to do it before the plastering work so you need to liaise with the person who is in charge of plastering to give you the timeline so that you know when to to do that before the plastering work starts
so that's why we need to size effort with all the third parties on, on, on site also once you're done with that the last step is to prepare the survey report we have site survey parameters the one that i used to guide you on how to carry out survey so one while you're on site you need to observe uh, to check the type of the building and the purpose of the building so the building might be semi-permanent or permanent or temporary but what is the purpose is the building meant for school hospital is this a, a, a residential building all that this one will help you to go to the next parameter which is uh, the type of installation so what kind of installation are you going to carry depending on the building that you have identified if it's a residential building then definitely that is a domestic installation if it's a, a, a business premise then definitely that is falls under uh, commercial installation what are things that you need to install in this building if the building already has pre-existing installation what is there so those are things you need to check while doing a type of installation we also have other type of installation that's industrial installation if you're doing a survey in a factory under your factory you understand that a factory might have a, 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 the processing unit where you find the machineries and all the automation but also the other rooms where the staff reside that one now falls under domestic installation within the industry but that's domestic installation then we also have special installation assuming you've been called to, to perform installation uh, to, to survey how you're going to install your, your swimming pool or a petrol station or maybe a, a car or a boat or a agricultural farm so we have all those those fall under special installation another parameter that you need also to consider is the site condition site condition this uh, the temperature of the, uh, of the surrounding the humidity uh, the dampness eh? I, some areas during rainy uh, season you find that the water rises even beyond the level so when you are you're looking to place your power circuits that's where you need to focus on the new installation or existing uh, installation or that the natural lighting the moisture that will you need to consider while you're doing the other parameter that we still have to put in consideration the building service and utilities the special features of this building depending on the design so what is expected of the building yeah is it just an ordinary building uh, or just a special building that has a lot of luxury eh? building with the refrigeration air conditioning units uh, cctv surveillance uh, we need lightning protection the drainage and water system all that if all those need to be included then put that as a consideration you need to note down also that the last thing or the last parameter is site measurements usually we ask to to have the official or the approved floor plan that's from the building a contractor or the building engineer the floor plan will give you the dimensions of each room the number of rooms for the building but if you don't have that then it means you'll have to take measurement physically using a tape measure or wherever that you need to use to take the real dimensions as well as the counting of number of the rooms so that's why all this is very important these are guiding the every 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 parameter has its importance then uh, once you're done with that you need to compile a report so a report should contain one title tell us uh, what you're doing where you did it and when you did it for example i can say uh, a site survey report of a two bedroom house uh, conducted on, uh, on 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 5th june at maybe rongai so that one i've answered all the question there so then after there you go to exact summary telling us who you are eh? if you're working for a company definitely you need to introduce your company then who you're working for this survey you, the clan the building so what the building belongs to who and why are you carrying the, the survey then just after the executive summary comes the objectives so the objective tells us what was the main intention of you covering the survey yeah. tell us the po in point form yes if you are carrying a survey maybe to prepare uh, the quotation then tell us that the other thing is also the, uh, the need is the method you use to carry out the survey i've just stated maybe visual inspection the one that you're using just your visual maybe in other ways you're using other methods special methods please state all the methods then findings these are based on the parameters those parameters we have touched on behind you have to capture them as a point so tell us uh, the building nature 
the number of rooms, the dimensions, uh, the type of installation intended for the building. Tell us all the building is service utilities and the site conditions, all that matters. Then uh, the conclusion. So what's the conclusion? The conclusion should be answering uh, your 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 intent. The, the summary. The actually should be summarizing your objective. If the objective were met, and then this this part of recommendation which comes later. If there is anything that you saw that needs attention, or that needs to be corrected, then it's good that you also capture in recommendation. It helps before you can carry out your work. Then that is it. So you have a practical ass assignment. So assuming you are, I'm dealing with a level 5 which is an electrical installation operator or a level 6 installation technician. So assume you've been tasked with a, task, with a, a survey task for a newly constructed uh, residential building, which is in progress of course. So go there, conduct a site survey and write a report using all these that you've learned before. In that case, once you're done with it, I will show you where to attach it. Please, thank you. But keep in touch. Uh, write your comments about the video. Also, uh, subscribe below. Invite other friends to also to subscribe. Share the links. All that. And in that case, you'll be helping in one way or another. Thank you.